Hey YouTube, FC Pokey here. Hope everyone's doing well. This is going to be a tutorial for bonding your clay pieces with a paintbrush. Now what you are going to need is you're going to need a, what I prefer, a Royal and Long Nickel front, uh, brush. It's a plastic brush. I believe they are level 1-8, uh, level 1, and an 8 shader. I like these a lot better than the wooden brushes because you can put a little more pressure on them without worrying about them breaking. And you're going to need some air dry clay. Anything lightweight air dry clay will do fine. And you're going to need a little bit of water. Just a little bit. Don't overdo it. You're about to see why in a minute. So, as you can probably see here, I am making a simple little sword in the stone design. And I need to get this hilt onto the sword in the stone. So, in order to get this done right, all you gotta do, and this is a technique that I haven't seen much talked about, but I believe I'm one of the first users of it. If not, correct me. I'm just gonna put a little bit of water right there, and just like regular bonding with clay, a little bit of water right there. And what you're going to do is you're going to take that and put it on there like you're regularly gonna bond it. But here's where the brush technique comes in. You're going to you're going to diagonally push with your brush along the edges. And then you're just going to lightly brush until your edges are smooth and not cracked looking. As you can see, very gradually it's going to get smooth and you won't be able to see that corner as much anymore. Well, you still want to see the corner for anatomy, but you don't want to see it as much. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Sorry, I'm shaking so much, guys. This is my first clay art video. This is something very personal to me that I have never filmed. So it's a first for me. To show you guys, to show the entire world. But anyway, you just you want to keep doing that. Keep doing those light diagonal pushes. And then just brush it until it's smooth, until you get a bonding line. Now it might not want to cooperate with you for a while, but... The brush technique is really just to help you along and use your fingers to finish it up. This is really a useful technique for miniatures. Get it the way you want it. All right, there we go. Now, as you can see, your anatomy might get a little out of whack. You just, just gotta fix that up a little bit. Eventually, you'll be left with a result that you want, like a sword in a stone. Thanks for watching, guys. And if I get 25 likes on this video, I will do another video. I'll do something more detailed, because I am working on a couple of things. That I'd like to start making videos of, but only if you guys really want to see it. Like a clay dreepy. Thanks for watching, guys, and ciao.